turbines, pollution control, and staff. The building to your north over here, on, on, on straight ahead of me on here, is our continuous emissions monitoring system. I'll give you a chance to look at that. It's cool. So you can see it. That's hardwired into uh, Avalado, Colorado. EPA can tell you, you can tell you, it's down, to, down to every 60 seconds what this unit is putting out. It's recorded on a hard drive someplace in Colorado. It measures CO2, o, uh, CO2, CO, uh, and not, uh, nitrous oxide. Uh, nit nitrous oxide. Uh, let's see what else I got here. There's no hard couple between the two, like the generator turbine up on, on deck on, on unit one. There's one shaft connecting the two. This, yeah, that's not direct coupling. There is a, a inner shaft that goes. This one turns at 58. Yeah, 58 uh, gener uh, GPM, 58 RPM, and in the inside, it will it will generate or the uh, it's called concentric shaft. The inside shaft moves the the, the stator on the generator. Uh, I'm sorry, the rotor of the generator at 3600 RPM. Uh, electric generation all happens at 38 3600 RPM to maintain the frequency. Of Anything higher or lower, there are there are meters. I can show you the controls again. You go back into that stuff to show you. Um, anything higher or lower, and it's lower frequency, it will actually knock it off one. We stop one because it can't be put. It's an economic thing. Years ago, I mean, and it wasn't that long ago. Five years ago, I was one that decided to put a unit on. I'd look out and say, "Man, it's hot out there. I bet you they could use it too." So I go and turn it on. And then there are some power failures up in the Northeast. I think you heard about that, where like New York was out for a while, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ohio was out for a while. And did you know Texas has its own power grid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we have our own. And you know, I don't know if you know this, but we are world class. People come to Texas to find out how to do power. All the stuff that happens, NERC was really established because of ERCA. It was our energy reliable. Reliability Council of Texas that helped form our national energy reliability. So we are so reliable, people come to us to learn how to do it. Because of that, they decided an entity like NERC or ERCOT uh, is going to decide and monitor the grid to make sure power, and then they will tell people. So they used to call me up and say, hey, we need a unit 6 on it, active, so we need this on it. So I put it on. Now we have a scheduling, scheduling entity unit. And it's called a QSE, our qualitative scheduling entity. They look at every 15 minutes. They look at the power uh, on the online, the grid. They look at temperatures. They look at weather, and they look at prices of electricity. And if a unit goes off in Denton, or a unit, a new unit goes off in, in South Texas, if it goes down, prices go up. We get a call from our QSE saying, "Good, it's a cool down. Cool down. Fans on the other side." Uh, We'll get a call, put this unit on, and prices begin to spike. It used to be that reliability was number one, that we wanted to make sure everybody had all the energy they needed, and if there's a little bit extra, don't worry, we're a big company, we'll absorb the problems, we'll dump it on the ground, prices go in the bucket, that's okay, we don't care if we're actually paying to make energy, we want to be reliable. Now, it's all money driven. So you guys want to make big money, go into energy scheduling. That is where that's where it is made. Uh, one day at there's a little unit over at uh, Dan's, uh, at Atkins, and it's Atkins Seven. It's a tiny little gas turbine. It's a 12 megawatt unit. And one day I made for for BTU. I didn't make it the generator, did, but I was there. But I made seventy thousand dollars in about four hours. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And so I said, I thought again. I have my, my you know my boss is buying. Where's my cut? This is my, I came out on a Saturday and did it. So anyway, I got a little overtime. But the idea is that when there's needs for power, you can jump on it. And people, man, let me show you, let me show you this little SCR over here. You see behind you, if you look at it, the SCR, this is, this, and Larry knows all about this, don't you, Larry? <laughs> this whole thing, all the way
see-through is packed solid with these tiles. You can touch them, they're nothing more than just ceramic tile. It's just packed solid all the way through, and you see there's holes through them. What happens is we shoot demineralized water into there, and we shoot that demineralized water. It actually absorbs like a catalytic converter in your car. You know about a cat in your car? It absorbs any nitrous oxides, O, uh, COs, o, uh, CO2, it absorbs all that in that catalyst. So when it comes out, it's ultra pure, really purified, oh. very purified. But that's the catalyst that they actually use, that's a ceramic catalyst. I think the new stuff they have in is more of a fiber, it's more of a uh, fiberglass, isn't it? That's how that works. So, let me show you the sim, sims, because I think it's this. Well, so what else sees it? Those guys. Come on in, Stacy. Come on in. Yeah. I like it in here. Come on in, everybody. Come on. Got a way in here. Got a lot of people. Come on in. All in. Gotta get everyone in here. Everybody, how many more? How many more? That's it. Should be 12. No more than 12. No more than 12. Okay. What we got here is our Sims. Now, I'll get you a chance to take a look at it. But you can see that this Sims, you can see it monitoring, and we got every 10 seconds, and it goes all the way through. Now, it's still calibrating, but it'll go down to one hour. So every 10 seconds, we can see this is what you're able to see as we go through it. How much fuel is burned, how many megawatts are produced, how much, I think water's even on there, and it's going through a cow system right now. But that's where this all happens. This is also hardwired into that place in Colorado, like I said. So they know exactly what our emissions are. Every single power plant has this. Whether it's a coal plant or a, a nuclear plant, nuclear, starting to sound like George Bush though, sorry. Uh, or a steam, a gas power, oil power, they all have SIMs, all of them. And we're accountable to this. This has to be, uh, it's certified every six months, or I'm sorry, every month, and uh, and it's monitored all the time. So. All right, enough cool, we gotta get out of here. Do <laughs> <laughs> you mean how well to the... It's hard, well, it's... it's uh,